Five places you should consider traveling to if you a young man out here that hasn't explored the world. These are five places I done been to. Not the only five places I've been to, just five places I put together that I think if you check them out, you'll have a good time. You know, if you're a young man that ain't been outside your city, your town, you ain't explored the world yet, you know, maybe consider checking these places out if you think about taking a trip soon, you know. Uh, some you need a passport for, some you don't, but I think you should have your passport in anyway if you don't have it. So make sure you get on that, man. Apply and get your passport so you can explore the world, man. See what's out here. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into it. Welcome to the channel, Game and Live. Bye. So wanted to put together a list, man. I was talking to one of my young homies and he was telling me he's never been out of town, period. Like he's only been in the city his whole life. And I'm like, bro, you need to start traveling, bro. Like what you doing? You letting your, your, your youth and your younger years pass you by. You ain't got no kids, you ain't got no no, no woman. You need to go traveling, man, go see the world. So if you a young dude that can afford to go explore, go explore, man, because once you get kids and a wife and you know, the world start whooping on you, it get a, it'd be a lot tougher to just get up and go somewhere. So number one on the list, first place, I would recommend checking out Toronto, Toronto. I've been to Toronto a few times. One of the things that I noticed and that I liked about Toronto is just like it was a melting pot of just all different kinds of people. You know, that was dope to me. Different, different cultures all in one, all in one place, a mixture of different races and all that stuff all in one place. It's been some years since I've been there last, but every time I've been, I had a good time. The, the food was good out there. The women are beautiful out there. So many different, just vibes, whatever you into, it's, it's a vibe for every, every every occasion you know like whatever you into they got the vibes out there so toronto is a place that i would definitely recommend if you a young cat that ain't been nowhere yet and you want to go explore go check out toronto man get you some good pictures in you know put you together some dope fits get you some dope pics for the gram you feel me uh it's a bunch of like scenic type spots out there where you can uh you know flick up i've been out there for carabana one year as well that goes on every summer like july i want to say uh end of july i want to say they take place carabana super lit super fun festival people from all around the world out there caribbean afro beats music all that it's a it's a vibe bro if, you, if you've never been it was uh the time i went it was it was chaotic it was it was just a lot going on at one time but it was still fun and it was still a very memorable experience so whether you want to go check out carabana or not just going on a regular weekend go check out go check out toronto man i think you will uh, think you'll have a good time you know put that on your on your places to go list if you've never been secondly another place i've been to that i would suggest you maybe go check out would be st thomas st thomas virgin islands man that spot was uh when i went out there i didn't go on like a on like a homies bros trip it was more like a fam trip um so i was on some you know more chill type of time but it was kind of perfect for that you feel me it was the weather was great the beach was beautiful you know the food i don't i don't I, it was one spot out there the food was fire I can't remember the name. I'm gonna have to look. I'm gonna have to look for the name. But it was one spot out there. The food was delicious. But overall, usually when I go to a place and if the food is like fire, it's almost like everywhere I go, the food is good. I don't remember that being the case for St. Thomas as far as the food go. Other than that, it was a it was a dope, chill vibe. I would recommend like maybe taking a shorty out there if you want to take a, a trip with your girl. Hit St. Thomas, dope, chill beach. Um, I got a I got a dope Airbnb out there. They got some some dope Airbnbs like right off the beach or if you want to get a hotel You want that get you a hotel, but one thing I, I wasn't rocking with was like the uh, Like they cab situation man like the cabs they was they was kind of charging like per person I'm like this is this is different. I've never experienced this before so it's like if it's four people getting in a cab they charge you per head. So it's like four times whatever the amount is for them driving you there. That was a little different for me. That was a little weird. I don't know if that's like an American thing they do. They charge Americans like that. I don't know. Uh, but outside of that, it was a dope chill vibe. I would recommend, like I said, taking a shorty if you just want to go relax somewhere real quick, check out St. Thomas. It wasn't super expensive. The pricing was, was, was decent. It was fairly reasonable. It wasn't the cheapest that I've been to either, but 
pricing was, was fairly reasonable. You know what I'm saying? A flight out there wasn't super crazy either. So if you want to get away real quick, you and your shorty, go out there and kick it, man. It wasn't, it wasn't super crazy vibes that I would say y'all would go with the bros with. Yeah, St. Thomas, Virgin Islands, another dope spot that you should consider checking out. Thirdly, another place that I've visited, had a great time. I've actually been out here a few times. Mexico, Playa del Carmen specifically. I've been to Playa del Carmen in Mexico a couple times and every time I went, it was, it was a great time. First off, the food out there, for me personally, the food was fire. They had several different spots with just great food. It was actually a, a Jamaican restaurant, you know, ironically enough, it's a Jamaican restaurant out there and that was probably the best Jamaican food I've ever had in my life. It was, it was fire. The weather, of course, depending on what time you're going out there, what time of the year you're going out there, weather was great. It's hot, it's Mexico, you know what I'm saying? But weather was great right off the beach. The beach was beautiful. And then this area was more so like a touristy area. So it was a lot of Americans in this area, but you also got the locals as well. Everybody is super, in my experiences, everybody is super friendly, super cool. The, the, the customer service and restaurants and all that stuff was great. Pretty much every restaurant I went to down there, every time I've been down there, the food was good and the service was good. So I have no complaints in that area. I've always grabbed like an Airbnb. They got some dope Airbnbs right off the beach. You know what I'm saying? And then you right up the street from Cancun, you know, uh, I believe I flew into Cancun and then just took like a shuttle or something to, to Playa del Carmen. But right up the street from Cancun, if you want to hang out in Cancun so you can check out two different cities while you're down there, kill two birds with one stone. Then they also had a beach called uh, Zuha Beach, I want to say. Yeah, Zuha Beach. It's about an hour away. That beach was beautiful, though. Beach was beautiful, man. We was out there for, for some hours, bro. This is a spot where, like, Playa del Carmen, I would say, you can do you can do a family trip. You can do a trip with your shorty. And you could even do a trip with the bros, depending on what type of time you want, to depend on what area you in. You know what I'm saying? So it's a little bit of something for everybody. Um, it's definitely shorties down there, you know, uh, the locals and it'd be tourists down there. So whatever type of vibe you kind of looking for, you can kind of find it in, in, in this area. You know what I'm saying? Uh, of course, man, see me being from Detroit, everywhere I go, I'm, I'm always kind of like on alert and paying attention to my surroundings. So like, I can't say I've ever had any crazy experiences when I'm out of town because I just know how to move. So whenever you out somewhere, you can't be moving like you back at home in somebody else's town. You know what I'm saying? Go out there and behave yourself and act like you got some sense and you're going to be straight. You know, this place was another fire spot, bro. Like I said, beach, drinks, clubs, chicks, food, everything you could think of. And then it's, it's not expensive it's all, at all. It was super inexpensive, like your money go a long way out there. So that's always a factor that you want to consider when you're going somewhere, you don't want to go somewhere and they got to spend all your money, you know, come back home pissed. Like go somewhere where your money gonna, gonna take you a little bit further. So consider Playa del Carmen in Mexico, another, another dope spot. Another place I've been to, I recommend you checking out if you're a young cat is Colombia. Colombia, man been to Colombia. I went to Cali, Colombia a little over a year ago and it was, it was lit. It was, it was lit. It was a vibe, bro. Cali, Colombia, another spot. The food was good. The women were beautiful everywhere, bro. Everywhere. Everywhere you turn, just everywhere, bro. Like, and I'm talking like just chick that work at the local drug store, the chick that work at the mall, the chick that work at the local shoe store, just it, just everywhere you go, the, the waitress at the restaurant, just, just beautiful, bro. Like, that was that was the main takeaway for me in Cali. Like, food, women, weather, once again, the weather was great. Now, Cali, Columbia, there's no beach out there, so uh, if you're going to Cali, put that in, take that into consideration. If that's something that you're looking for, spot with a beach. It's no beach. They closest beach is probably like, I think like three hours away or something like that. For me, Cali was more on a like kind of chill reserve type of time. You know, it wasn't super wild out there, but they do have this area where it's a bunch of clubs. Uh, hit those clubs a couple times. The first time they, they had like a weird dress code, bro. So like, if this is a place you're considering going, Check the dress code and make sure you got it because they were super strict on the dress code. It was weird too. Like 
chicks couldn't get in with certain things, dudes couldn't get in with certain things, like shorts, you know what I'm saying? It's 90 something degrees, and they saying you can't wear shorts. You know, it was, it was a, the dress code was weird, and they were super strict about it, so that was one of the cons that I didn't really rock with, but outside of that, they did have an area with a bunch of just banging clubs, and it was just, just lit in this whole little area. I think I stayed out there for probably like almost a week or a week or something like that. It wasn't super expensive. Once again, your money go a long way. I, I tried a bunch of different food out there and the food was hitting pretty much every time. You know what I'm saying? They had a little bit of everything. I, I had Italian food out there. I had Mexican food out there. I had like all, they had all different genres. You know what I'm saying? And they had this mall this huge half outside half inside mall it was dope it was dope it was a it was a dope experience man i would recommend columbia for sure this is a place that you can go with the bros if you're going with to cali columbia you could take your shorty there you could do a shorty you know what i'm saying you and your shorty or you can do the bros trip if you hitting like the medellin or even cali columbia but just know it's going to be a little bit more chill you know what i'm saying it might not be as wild as some of y'all would like it to be so Consider that, man, another place, South America, bro. For me, I keep my head on the swivel. I'm always paying attention to my surroundings, so I didn't have any issues as far as like safety goes. I never really felt unsafe, you know what I'm saying? So I can't really speak to, to that side because that just wasn't my experience. Some people go to these places and they say they have bad experiences or something happens to them, and you know, I don't know. So again, if you, if you ain't out here doing nothing wild, you should be straight. Then another place, fifth place. Like I said, these is these places that I've been to. These are not the only places I've been to. I just didn't want to make a super long video about everywhere I've been. Maybe I will one day. Maybe I won't. But yeah, lastly, fifthly, fifthly, if that's a word, place that I've been to, Dominican Republic, the DR. Uh, this is a place I've been to a couple times, man. I've been here a couple times. Me and the bros. It's a homies trip for sure, but depending on what part of the DR you're going to, you can do a family trip as well. You know what I'm saying? Punta Cana with the resorts and all that stuff. Good time. Resort with the fam, all you can eat, inclusive everything, vibe. And then they have other areas like if you fly into Puerto Plata, fly into Puerto Plata and, and bust a right and drive down the street, it's the vibes. You feel me? It's, it's the vibes definitely a bros trip definitely going out there and having the time of your life the clubs were super lit i haven't been out there in some years you know what i'm saying but clubs were super lit the people and the, again this is my experience so if you if you've been to these places if you've had different experiences if you heard about different experiences that's those people's experiences you know so i can only speak from my experience so i can't say one way or the other that yo you gonna be straight or you're not gonna be straight again this is all about how you move and how you carry yourself but for me the times that i've been it's always been a great time all the people that i encountered all the people that i came across all super friendly all super cool everybody just on some you know we trying to hustle and trying to get it and that's kind of what it is you ain't out here on no wild weird stuff you straight you know so i've always had great experiences never had a bad experience uh, again, the women, beautiful and everywhere, just everywhere you turn, it's, it's, you know, and then a lot of them are going to treat you like a king for real. You know, you can't look too much into it because a lot of these women, they hustlers, you know what I'm saying? Like they trying to get to the bag. So, but they know how to, they know how to put on the act at least and make you feel special, you know? So if that's the look you're going for, if those are vibes you're going for, the RB the place to go. Um, again, the food, fire. Like, there's so many different places that I hit, and the food was just great. You know, the the, the fish they they whipping it up. And again, if you if you in America, you're from America, don't expect American American type. Uh, I guess a lifestyle per se. You know, these places are uh, a lot less fortunate than where you may come from back in America. So don't expect the same level of luxury i guess you would say you know a lot of the luxuries you may be used to back at home can't expect that because these places they're not the economy isn't booming like how it may be back at your home in america so it's one thing i had to get used to but once you get past that and you see like people whipping up it might be a very very small shack for a restaurant but they back there going crazy and the food is delicious you know uh 
chilling off the beach again another beautiful beach if you haven't noticed my theme is beaches i like going to places with a nice beach and i like chilling on the beach and i like places where i could chill on the beach and they could bring me food and drinks while i'm on the beach that's my that's my vibe you know and you chill out and you get you a little shorty and she kick it on the beach and chill with you on the beach and you just rock out bro and you just be living your money goes a lot further down there as well it's not super expensive it is a lot of americans that go down there which means the price do continuously go up you know but you can negotiate in a lot of these places you can negotiate the price of everything you know food drinks whatever you can negotiate the price of everything so if you if you got a good mouthpiece on you and you know how to talk you know how to negotiate you'll be straight but your money do go further you know uh i always recommend people take trips out of the country because your money is going to go further you go to miami and go to the club you're getting a bottle of liquor that's joint seven eight hundred dollars in miami you if you just stayed on that airplane for another hour and hit one of these islands you know what i'm saying you get you a bottle in the club for 40 50 bucks is a big difference you know what i'm saying you had a time of your life so this stuff i just like to consider because it's no point of just blowing money if you don't have to you're gonna you're gonna save more money spend less money and have more fun it's, it's just a win-win all the way around so check out dominican republic man it's another place if you've never been get your passport if you don't have it get your passport bro explore the world man see what's out here bro all of these places like i said are, are a few places that i've been to i may make another video on other places that i've been to uh maybe i do one in america maybe i do other countries and, and stuff outside of america i don't know this is just something that i was just thinking about like like i said the conversation that i had with my young dog who's never been anywhere outside of the city that he was born in. You know, this is why I have my channel because I, I be having these conversations in real life and I know the people that I'm talking to aren't the only people experiencing what they experience. And so it's a lot of cats out here that's never been outside their neighborhood, that's never been outside their city. And I hate that for you, you know, like you gotta get out here and explore. You only got one life and it go quick. So don't, don't waste your whole life just in your little bubble. Once you explore and you see what else is out here and you see what else the world have to offer, it just opens your mind up. It changes your perspective about life. It changes your perspective about where you're from. It changes your perspective on culture. You know what I'm saying? When you see other people living differently, other people living with less, other people having less, but they attitude is better. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if somebody, somebody can have a great attitude and they're living with less, it, it kind of make you reconsider how you thinking you know what i'm saying and how you moving or the people around you like why you so upset and you got everything that you need you got all the essentials you got running water and heat and air and electricity and all that stuff when there's people in other places that don't have any of that but their attitude is, is so much better than what you may be experiencing back in the states so explore bro get out here see what the world got to offer man especially do it while you young do it while you don't have as many responsibilities because once life gets to life in, you ain't gonna be able to just get up and go like how you, you know what I'm saying, normally would be able to. So uh, if this video helped at all, man, please leave a comment below. If it's some places that you've been that you want to share, you know, leave it in the comments. Tell me about some of your experiences about places that you done travel to, places that I should check out, places that others should check out, you know. Uh, and if you can, hit the subscribe button for me, hit the like button for me, really help the channel. And I got more videos on the way, man. Peace.